The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Herod was the one who had John the Baptist arrested and bound in prison on account of his Herodias, the wife of his brother Philip, whom he had married. John had said to Herod, It is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. Herodias harbored a grudge against him and wanted to kill him but was unable to do so. Herod feared John, knowing him to be a righteous and holy man, and kept him in custody. When he heard him speak, he was very much perplexed, yet he liked to listen to John. Herodias had an opportunity one day when Herod, on his birthday, gave a banquet for his military officers and the leading men of Galilee. Herodias' own daughter came in and performed a dance that delighted Herod and his guests. And the king said to the girl, Ask of me whatever you wish, and I will grant it to you. He even swore many things to her, I will grant you whatever you ask of me, even to half of my kingdom. The girl went out and said to her mother, What shall I ask for? She replied, The head of John the Baptist. And so the girl hurried back to the king's presence and made her request. I want you to give me at once, on a platter, the head of John the Baptist. The king was deeply dis distressed, but because of his oaths and the guests, he did not wish to break his word to her. So he promptly dispatched an executioner with orders to bring back his head. He went off and beheaded him in the prison. He brought in the head on a platter and gave it to the girl, and the girl in turn gave it to her mother, Herodias. When his disciples heard about it, they came and took his body and laid it in a tomb. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. It's the memorial of the beheading of John the Baptist. You might be asking why such a celebration on the beheading of John the Baptist. Well, precisely because John the Baptist is the precursor of Christ, the precursor of the Messiah. And without any doubts, the church thought that he deserved such a celebration like this. Truly, John deserved a memorial not only of his birth, but also of his death. We know fully well about the life of John the Baptist. He baptized Jesus. And you know, through the birth, preaching, and the baptizing of John the Baptist, John, he himself, came to witness the coming of the birth, the preaching ministry, and the baptizing of Jesus Christ. And with his death also, John showed that Christ, the Messiah, would also suffer. Makikita natin kung gaano po kalapit ang buhay ni San Juan Bautista sa ating Panginoong Jesus. Kaya napakaganda, napakamahalaga. And that is the reason why we celebrate today such celebration, Memorial of John the Baptist. And the church is inviting us. It's giving us this very important invitation that more than the apostles of Christ, we should not forget John the Baptist. More than our intention of imitating the disciples, the apostles of Jesus, there is this one person also, a very important in the life of Jesus, whom we can truly imitate. First, we can imitate John. We can be like John. John, who is always, always mindful of Jesus. Lahat ng kanyang ginagawa, it's always for Jesus. And we know that fully, that the purpose of his birth, his preaching ministry, his baptizing, is none other than to prepare the way of the Lord. 
And this is the invitation of the church today in this celebration. We can be like Him. Maharin natin siyang sundan that even in our own simple ways, we can also do the same. Repair the way of the Lord. Let us always be mindful of Jesus. Let us always be mindful of the Lord in all the things that we do. And with these simple ways, we can actually be like John the Baptist. Second, we can imitate John by proclaiming the truth. Proclaiming the truth. Take note, the death of, Jesus, of John the Baptist was not actually about denying Christ. The executioners of John the Baptist <clears throat> did not demand him to deny Christ. It's actually about to cover up the truth. But for John, he cannot do that. He cannot do that. He cannot cover up. He cannot deny the truth. For he knows fully well that he cannot deny Jesus because Jesus himself is the truth. You know, in our society nowadays, ito yung hamon. Ito yung kinakailangan nating bantayan. If we are look, going to look at the society nowadays, actually evil is not the most difficult challenge. I think the most challenging one is to cover up evil with lies. Yung kasinungalingan. Yung pagkukunwari. Ito yung isang bagay na dapat natin tignan. And that is exactly what happened in today's gospel. They tried to make use of John to cover up evil with lies. And for John, it is not impossible for him. It is not possible for him. For Christ, as the truth, he is meant to be proclaimed, not to be kept hidden. The third way on how to imitate John is to offer our own heads. To offer our own heads. Hindi lang kamay, hindi lang paa, hindi lang parte ng katawan, mismo yung ating ulo. Ito yung titignan natin. Take note, when we talk about the head, we're talking of something to control the body. In other words, to give up everything for Christ. Ngayon, kaya ba natin ito? Kaya ba natin gawin ito? You know, John the Baptist, as he's truly firm in his preaching ministry to proclaim the truth and to prepare the way of Christ, truly at the end of his life, even in his life, he received so much privileges from God. Kita nyo naman yung nangyari kay John. He was so privileged to baptize the Messiah he was so privileged to hear the voice of the Father from heaven. And he was so privileged to see the Holy Spirit descending upon the Messiah. And that is why for John, death is nothing. Death, death is no longer a burden. Death and any forms of suffering is no longer a heavy burden for him. For he knows fully well that the sufferings of the present life are not, not even worthy in the glory that he will receive in heaven. Again, today is the memorial of the beheading, the death of John the Baptist. And for the church, John is a very important image in the life, a very important person in the life of our Messiah. And his birth and even his death deserve such a very meaningful celebration. Aiming that all of us may also imitate John the Baptist.